You spend enough time in the universe, you start noticing patterns the average traveler never sees. After thousands of hours exploring every kind of world, every glitch, every line of code that accidentally shows its hand, I've learned to recognize when reality itself flickers. Every planet in No Man's Sky carries its own filter, a procedurally generated visual fingerprint. It defines the way the world breathes, the tint of its skies, the softness of its shadows, the warmth or coldness of its light. Now, normally that filter is sealed inside the planet's atmosphere. You break atmosphere, it engages. You leave, it resets. Simple. But as of lately, that rule's broken. These planetary filters are leaking. They're stretching beyond the atmosphere, bleeding into open space. Now check this out. I'm still in orbit, no heat shield, no drag, and yet the entire lighting model has changed. Rotate away from the planet and the tint disappears. Face it again, and the filter floods back instantly. It's precise, deliberate, and absolutely not how the engine is supposed to behave. This isn't random. Each world still has its unique filter. Only now the filter's radius has expanded far beyond its intended boundary. What you're seeing is the post-process volume of the planet actively early, possibly a miscalculated draw distance or a culling bug introduced in the last patch. In plain terms, the planet's mood is leaking into the void. Now, if you know me, you know I don't stop at bug. I test, replicate, document. On one world, the filter activated 28 seconds before re-entry. On another, just five. Always consistent per planet, never global, never shared. That tells me it's not an atmospheric asset. It's linked directly to the planet's individual seed data. In other words, every planet's filter is procedurally unique and spatially defined, a bubble of altered light that's supposed to stay stitched to the surface. The boundaries just drifted outwards. Now, to most players, it's a cosmetic quirk. To me, it's a window into how the universe thinks. You're literally watching the math bleed through, the simulation exposing the layer it uses to paint reality. I like to call it the filter glitch, a quiet error that turns the void into a canvas, proof that even perfection can slip, and in that slip you glimpse the machinery underneath. Maybe Hello Games will fix it in the next patch. Or maybe this is one of those beautiful accidents that remind us what No Man's Sky really is. A living algorithm pretending to be a universe. And when it edges the blur, when planets start bleeding into the black, that's when you realize you're seeing something you were never meant to see. So next time you're drifting through Isentam or wherever you might be, take a second before you land. Look at your cockpit lights. If the stars suddenly shift hue, you're witnessing the same phenomenon. Not a glitch, not a bug, a reminder that the universe is bigger, smarter, and stranger than the code within it. I'm Dave, the Snailian, explorer, experimenter, the guy who measures the distance between reality and simulation one bug at a time. And this is the filter glitch. Stay curious, traveler, and don't forget you're valuable and you matter. This is your friend the Snailian, signing out. Smash that like button, subscribe, and tickle the little bell icon, please.